Welcome back to the Demon Rush channel, guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about Demon Rush Chapter 5, which will be wrapping up Volume 2. We're going to be talking about the beta print of the trading card game, which I'm very excited about, and the mobile game, which is in development, and we're almost at a alpha testing stage where we can start to get players from all around the world joining a server and starting to play for free the Demon Rush trading card game, which is super, super exciting. Let me first start with that because I'm really hype about it. So what you're seeing here is, again, it's not the final version. We're probably not gonna just be using a plain table like this. We're gonna design some really nice sort of like different landscapes with different music behind each landscape. And it should be really exciting and look a lot more polished in the end. But the main thing we're trying to do here is just get a functioning software that we are developing so that we can just hop into games and start playing. If you're familiar with Magic the Gathering Arena, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel or Dueling Book, it's probably gonna be more similar to Dueling Book than anything else with drop-down menus and such. It turned out to be a, like way too complicated to try and incorporate every single rule of every card. So what we're doing is giving the players more freedom to kind of manipulate the field and you'll be held at the standard to play optimally, which means that we're gonna need to get judges involved, but we do have an array of judges. And of course we play a lot of Demon Rush on our Discord almost every single night, but this is gonna be really nice because for one, it has a lot of automation that's just gonna make your life easier. So if you play Arcog for five Imperium, you'll immediately just lose five Imperium. So one thing we did was program in the cost of the cards and that way there's no Imperium goofs. It's automatic. It'll save you time from moving, moving a dice around and that in its own right is just going to help out a ton. As you can see here on the left, it'll show you display of whichever card that you're hovering over with the card effect. You have a pile for your deck and then you have a pile for your cemetery and a pile for Vanquished. And what we're going to incorporate is kind of like an okay button. So if I say I declare an, a team attack with all of my soldiers into Soren, he can just take the damage himself and just start lowering his life uh, manually, or he could respond. Now, if you are allowing an action to happen, there's gonna be a button for like a thumbs up, which if you're playing against an opponent in real life, basically every time you make an action, you have to wait for your opponent to give you like a thumbs up or let you know that they don't have a response. If they don't reply, it's because they're thinking if they want to respond or not. So in this case, we're gonna have a, a button to just simply make the whole process smoother. And I think that games will probably shrink by about half the time, if not by 80%. 80%. Right now, games as we play on Discord probably take somewhere along the lines of 20 minutes per duel. And I think once we get this model rolling, it'll be somewhere near five minutes per duel. You'll be able to just log in from your browser on your computer, and we're also gonna get this working on mobile as well. And this will allow you to just play Demon Rush anywhere at any time with anyone in the world, but we'll also have like a friends list so you can play games with your friends. We're gonna have a ranking and a ladder system that you can move up in. And how you're gonna get cards in this mobile version of the game is by just playing games. So look, we're gonna have some sort of like token system where every match you play, you get like one token, if you win the match, you get like three tokens and then a pack, a virtual pack will cost you like 10 tokens. So it's not gonna be pay to win. You're gonna be able to get all the cards for free. And I think we're gonna do trading as well. So if you get some extra, you know, greater beings that you, you can only use one of a greater being in your deck, you could trade those to someone else for another greater being that you still need. So when you make your account, you'll be able to choose one of the two starter decks, Soren or Rush. And then as you play, you'll get virtual packs for free that you can open and boost up your deck and that will help you move up the ladder and so forth. We'll also have the ability to buy virtual packs as well. And we should have a working model to start playing with each other in about three weeks. So this is very, very exciting and this is huge for the future of Demon Rush. Okay, let's talk about the beta print of the physical trading card game. As I'm sure you guys know, the alpha booster packs sold out in about a month and a half. And so we still have some structure decks, but people loved opening the packs. They were just all about it, which is great. And we need more packs and we need to get more players in the game. So I've been working with a new manufacturer with a new hollow foiling process, and they've sent me some samples. I'm working with them to get it perfect. Obviously, it has to be 100% perfect before we go into production. And I'm planning on printing either 50,000 or 100,000 
packs. The first print, the alpha print was only 10,000 packs. So this time around, I wanna go really big and I wanna go really big on the marketing and promotion for the game as well. We really need to build a much larger community and in order to do that, we need product to sell. So we're revising the templates a little bit. Some cards will be foil that weren't foil before and vice versa. And there's also some minor changes, errata changes to certain cards we've either buffed or we have nerfed. And so those will be incorporated into the beta set as well, like Cursed Mirror, for example. And I believe that the cards are gonna be slightly thicker and higher quality than the first print. Okay guys, I wanna give you an update on Demon Rush chapter five, which is actually going to be the final chapter in volume two. It's actually gonna be basically chapter two, quote unquote chapter two is four chapters in a row. And again, we split those apart so we could give you more content faster. In any case, Doomsday is finally wrapping up, the flashback of Doomsday. So if you remember in the beginning of chapter two, it's the year 2029, seven years after Doomsday, and that's when Soren is basically giving us the whole backstory of like what happened when everything went to crap, when uh, the gates of hell opened on Earth, and how did this all begin? And I don't wanna show you too many pictures here of the actual chapter because it will spoil a lot of things, but I'm very, very excited to finally finish up Doomsday so we can get into present day Sorn. And that's really where the story is going to start taking off. You're gonna to get to see some of Sorn's powers, some battles, he's gonna meet some friends, you're gonna meet his master and so forth. So there's a lot of really good stuff to come. And you know, basically volumes one and two were really just informational combat sort of chapters. It's supposed to leave you with a lot of questions, and as we dive into present day in chapter six, you're gonna start to get some of those answers as we start to introduce new questions, and that thus is the practice of storytelling. As far as when this chapter is gonna come out, probably in about a month, I would say, maybe a month and a half. And we will also have a physical copy of volume two, which I hope you guys will purchase. We'll be selling that on Amazon. And as far as the future of Demon Rush and getting more people into this series, what we need to do is we need to bring in investors. So with the beta print, I'm gonna start a Kickstarter. We're working on two new animations for Demon Rush and we really need to get investors. Honestly, like if I had like $3 million, I could blow it so fast on just simple marketing and production and distribution of the card game. And so hopefully we can have some investor rounds, raise some capital and push really, really hard. But hey, we had to start somewhere and you guys are here, which is the important thing. We just have to keep growing and pulling more people into it. But honestly, I think based on my main YouTube channel, Master Media, I think that animations are really gonna be one of the best things for that. It's just that the animations are so time consuming, so expensive, and so incredibly exhausting to produce. Uh, it's pretty brutal, but hopefully if we get investors, we can hire you know a studio to make an episode for us. We also have the Webtoons contest, which hasn't been announced yet who the winner is. And if we win that, we get a 10 minute animation done. So there's a lot of potential for the future of this of this franchise and we just need to stay strong and keep pushing and keep producing and keep growing and we'll get there. But I hope to see you guys back soon for the chapter five release, the end of volume two, that the end of the flashback of Doomsday. Really excited to show you guys how this wraps up and where it's going.